Okay, Harley, show me a YouTube video of what you buy in a week for two people. How much does it weigh? What does it look like? What does it cost? Where does it come from? Show me. Here we go. When it comes to buying produce, it's a great idea to go to the wholesaler direct or to the grower direct. And these bananas we've got here, amazing. Grown in volcanic soil locally. Just incredible, creamy, sweet flavor. The mineral density is just off the chart. You know, high mineralization, volcanic grown. We got full on veggies here, organic. Uh, some just some sweet peppers. They chucked in a cup of corn. But this is the this is the real good stuff here. Pink's mammoth custard apples. Look at that. Look how big that is. So that's just like sugar in your hand. And we got you know, what about 80 pounds in there? In these two boxes, 80 pounds, 100 bucks worth of sugar. We got. Some honey mercots come on on there. They'll they'll ripen up over the next week. Look at that, just to put how just to give that some proportion. Look how big that rollinia is. Incredible, like a lemon meringue pie. Just sensational. Dates, four boxes of dates. Incredible. These are the California medjules. Everyone knows these. These. Where are these from? These are Australian Central Australian dates. Just, yeah, great. Great. Where are they coming from? Here we go, here's the address. It's the phone number there if you want to get in contact with Dave from uh, the Desert Fruit Company. Incredible. Six kilos, man. Fresh packed. Now look at this. Look at this. Look at that, man. If you want a good date, that's where it's at. Hmm. Fresh. That's just incredible. So sweet. So yeah, they're still really well. Just put them back in your box. Chuck them in your, chuck them in your pantry. Done. I've got here some, some big fat tomatoes. <laughs> got that for an heirloom tomato. More citrus, you know. So this is like a. This is about a week's worth of food for two people. You know, about three or four thousand calories a day. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Think of all the nutrition you're getting, like fresh produce that just tastes amazing. Carbohydrate-rich diet provides energy and stamina you need. Keeps life sweet, keeps you emotionally stable because you've got sufficient glycogen to deal with physical and mental adventures every day and tomorrow and the next day and the next week and the next year this is great eat up eat up i call this the volcanic deluxe we've got about 12 large local certified organic bananas cavendish variety they've grown in some red volcanic soil around here yeah i have two of these so i have about 2400 calories for lunch today mm. volcanic deluxe off the hook People say, Harley, that's a lot of fruit you just showed us, you know, like, I can't afford all that, you know, I've got to spend money on, you know, stuff, stuff, got to have my stuff, you know, got to have my Prada handbag, and i got to have my, my gold chain, and i got to have my twin turbo, and i got to have, you know, got to get the 20-inch mags, man, just rocking and rolling, man, you know, I've got to have that, and got to go out with my mates, and, you know, spend money on piss and shit and you know and then you gotta have like health insurance in case you get sick cause you know like you could get like Crohn's disease or something and the medication costs a lot of money cause you can't prevent it eh you know it's like what can't we afford I can't personally I can't afford not to be healthy I've got too many people relying on me I'm relying on myself I cannot afford to not be healthy therefore I spend whatever money it takes to get the produce to live the lifestyle that keeps me healthy so I can keep giving. Otherwise, I become a burden upon myself, burden upon society, and it just sucks. So we cannot afford to not be healthy. We cannot afford to not purchase our favorite fruits, you know? Even these flies can't afford not to get some the volcanic deluxe. Health's the number one a asset. It provides the best returns as it's the number one investment. You just can't beat it, you know. It's you can't give your family 
money and expect them to feel fulfillment. All you can give to yourself, your family and your friends is your time, is your love, is your caring, is your, you know, your example. Forget the car and the house and the 40-year the security plan that you've been sold. P put it into your health, man. Put all that effort into your health. Sure, if you got all that stuff, great. You know, but don't sacrifice your health in order to obtain all this material stuff, man. You know what I mean? I used to sleep in cardboard boxes to afford the best stuff. Because I thought, hey, man, it's like... I want to put my pennies into my health, and I want to invest in that. And now, you know, things are different. I don't have to live in cardboard boxes, but I recommend you do, man. If you can't afford it, make a priority in your life, health. You know, so where does your money go? I mean, it's like, don't don't tell me, but just ask yourself, where am I spending my money where I could actually not spend that? You know, do I really need to live in this suburb because it's got a flashy postcode, you know, a zip code? You know, to impress people I don't even really like. Do I really need to have this latest model bicycle or car or whatever to impress people I don't even really like? Do I really need to wear this clothing that takes dry cleaning and ironing and so I can work in this job and have to wear makeup and have a $200 haircut and just to impress people I don't even really like to work in this job that I hate, to buy crap I don't even really need? You know, so most people work to save up money so they can have a holiday so they don't have to work so then they can spend more time with their family it's like why don't you downsize simplify spend more time with your family work in your passion and then you won't be working ever again in your life because when all your work is play we will never work another day it's uh if you dread going to work quit before you're fired and start you know working in what your passion is and for me you know, helping people help themselves get healthy. That's my passion and that's my play and we do it every day. Mm. I think when we simplify our diet, we just simplify our relationship with ourselves and others. And life takes on a whole new sweet level. It's uh, it's quite profound, it's quite simple and it's really cool. So do whatever it takes, man, to, to get, <laughs> just eat like royalty. You just smashing whatever you want to eat man just you eating it it's great just as much as you care for you know eat slow save every bite and just feel that feel that health come you know health can't be stored it's you got to earn it every day you know it's uh and it's good it's fun you know it's like something to wake up for you know let's, let's have another healthy happy fun adventurous day of contribution receiving giving you know laughing playing just helping you know being honest and having integrity and things like that. It's just amazing butterflies around here. So, you know, find your local produce, organic wholesalers or growers or markets. Do your homework. You know, we had to bust our hump to live this lifestyle. We didn't just walk into it and go, oh, I'll do that. You know, it's like, so I'm giving you tips that I would have paid freaking anything for back in the day. And I spent years just floundering around, hurting myself, getting ripped off, eating unripe fruit. I had to learn the hard way. You can just come in onto my YouTube channel and just lift ideas. Great, you know, that's what I do. You know, I learn from other people's mistakes. So just you can just fast track it, man. You can go out there, you know, what took me years to learn, you can learn it in <laughs> what's this video? Eight minutes. <laughs> Power of the internet. So yeah. Alright, so thanks for watching today's vid on uh, how much fruit do we go shopping for and where to get it and etc. Spend whatever it takes to get whatever you want to get and eat as much as you care for.